What's up guys? My name is Tim Henson and today I'm going to be showing you how to thump as well as finger pick. I'm using my signature Ibanez Tim Henson TOD10. It's equipped with Fishman Fluence Tim Henson Signature Series pickups. I'm on the seventh position of said pickups and I'm running through the Archetype Tim Henson plugin. We're going to be using an etude that I made for myself so that I could practice this technique on loop endlessly and mindlessly because it is a very difficult technique and the more you're able to hammer it into your muscle memory, the easier it will be to use in your regular playing vocabulary. With that being said, this is the etude played slow. <laughs> Okay, so before we get into the thumping, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Tosin Abasi. He is the one that taught me this technique. He has a DVD called Thump, where he goes over a billion different ways of implementing this technique. But anyways, let's go ahead and get right into it. So the really nice thing about this etude is that rhythmically, it does not change at all. Every single note is going to be a quintuplet. Quintuplet means that each beat is divided by five equally. So on your right hand, you're going to have P-P-I-M-A, five different notes, that's thumb, thumb, index, middle, ring, P-P-I-M-A, and that looks like this, P-P-I-M-A, one, two, three, four, five, and that's what your right hand is going to be doing the entire time of this etude. So for the thumb part, basically what you're going to do is make a fist, take your thumb, stick it straight out, open up these fingers just a little bit because you're going to be using them later, you're then going to hover over the strings at about a 45 degree angle, and then you're going to drive your thumb straight through the string land on the string directly below it. So the part that's going to be hitting the string is going to be right where the thumb meets the nail. And you can kind of see it's a bit red. And that's the part that's going to strike the string. So that looks like. The thing that helped me the most was to think of it like a pick. Because a lot of the times people like to think that it's like a slap or a pluck when really it's like a pick. And like a pick, you can do a downstroke, you can also do an upstroke. So once you have this motion, you're then going to bring it back up. So this is the double thumb. Okay, and so now for the finger picking part. The important thing to remember here is that it's less of a pluck where you're individually going in and out and plucking the string, and more of sitting on the string already and pulling off. So go ahead and try 12, 12, 12 on the D, G, and B strings, and you're gonna harmonic all of these, and you're going to place your index, middle, and ring finger on these strings, and just kind of pull them, and you'll feel the tension, right? And then you're just gonna pull off. And that's what it feels like. So now try that one more time and do it individually. So feel the tension and then, and that's this entire finger picking motion. So when you put all of that together, you've got P, P, I, M, A, P, P, I, M, A. And you're gonna wanna do it really slow at first. And then once you get the hang of that motion, then you can gradually increase the speed. is what the right hand is going to be doing the entire time, P-P-I-M-A. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the left hand. These are all the chords that the left hand will be playing. And then it just repeats. All right, let's go ahead and put everything together. We're gonna to start with this first chord. It's gonna be seven on the A, five on the D, open G, and then eight on the B. And you're gonna do P, P, I, M, A on the A, D, G, and B strings. So that's... You're gonna play this chord twice, and on the second time, instead of hitting seven on the A, you're gonna do open E, so it looks like... 
And then we move on to the second chord, which is going to be... And this chord really isn't much different from the first chord. The only difference is you're going to add 7 on the low E, and then you're going to move this 8 on the B to a 7. So... The second time you play the second chord, you're going to do the open B. So from the top we've got... This third chord is going to be... So that's going to be 8 on the low E, 10 on the D, 9 on the G, and then 12 harmonic on the B second time you're going to do open B. So it looks like... So from the top... This next chord is going to be open A, 7 on the D, 5 on the G, and then open B, and then on the second time you're going to do 8 on the B. So it looks like... Then this next chord has two parts to it. You're going to do... So adding 7 to the low E, and then doing open B. And then you're going to slide up. And that's going to be 7 on the low E, 9 on the D, 8 on the G, and 7 on the B. Then we come back to this first chord that we started on. That's going to be 7, 5, 0, 8, starting from the A string. You're going to come back up to this chord, which is going to be 7 on the E, 9 on the D, 8 on the G, and then 7 on the high E. So that's going to be... So yeah, the entire thing, right hand, P, P, I, M, A. Left hand, learn those chords. Once you have that memorized, then you can just mindlessly run through that a million times, and eventually this technique might feel natural to you. Um, it took me a long time. It still doesn't feel natural, but you know, practice makes perfect. So keep practicing. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked this tutorial, I have more on my channel. I have a members only section. There's exclusive tutorials, merch discounts, wallpapers, emojis, you name it. It's got everything. So anyways, thank you guys. Love y'all.